Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little sit down intro because this is going to be my FIT Kaufman Hall dorm tour. Woo! Finally, um, it is almost the middle of October and I'm finally doing it now. But I just wanted to start this video off with all of the information in the beginning and then we'll get into the actual tour of the place. And if you have any questions regarding things that I might have not talked about, then feel free to leave some comments and I will reply to you as soon as I can. Without further ado, let's get started. So FIT has four dorm halls, one being Kaufman Hall, which I'm living in right now. Second, we have co-ed, Third is Nagler, and fourth is Alumni. No specific order for that. But three of them are on 27th Street, where the campus building is located. And one of them, Kaufman Hall, is on 31st Street. So you do have to walk a little bit between um, campus and the dorm, but it's only like four blocks, so it's okay. It's about a 10 to 15 minute walk every day to your classes, rather than school being literally right in front of you. So. Another thing to mention about Kaufman Hall is that this is the only hall for returning students. All the other three are for the freshmen and new incoming students, so keep that in mind. If you're an upper class student, then your only option for dorm halls is Kaufman Hall. People are probably wondering about the cost of these dorms, and so I will put a little screenshot right here. Um, they are pretty expensive, but what can you say, it's New York. But along with this, there are different room types in Kaufman Hall. And so there's a double apartment, which is what I'm living in right now. There's also a triple apartment, single apartment, double in a quad apartment, and triple in an RA quad. More information about this dorm hall itself. There is a laundry room in the basement and there are plenty of washer and dryers in there. You don't have to worry about like a lack of machines. There are so many <laughs> that you can use and it's almost always like pretty much empty all the time when I go at least so um, it's a lot more comfortable than what we had in the SUNY Korea campus so I really liked that part here is the laundry room there's a bunch of machines these ones are all washers and then the ones on the walls are dryers so there's a lot and we use this app called pay range and it's connected by Bluetooth so you just pick the number your machine is and then pay slide to pay and it'll start going right away so this is very nice additionally there's a lot of things in the basement actually so there's also a fitness room um, a work study room with sewing machines and a light box table and a bunch of like open space tables for fashion design students or production management or whatever else students to do their work there's also a cyber lounge with a bunch of computers in there imax and regular desktops the basement is also where the mail room is, so you can pick up your packages as well as like the actual mailboxes. Along with this, we do have a trash chute system um, on each end of the hallways, so you can find your trash rooms there. There's also recycling. And I think that's about it for the basement and for the dormitory hall information as well. So now we'll take a look into my room. Okay, so to start off the tour, we are at the front of the door. And to the left, you'll see my hamper and some cleaning supplies right there that we have just let out um, and some shoes. And immediately to the left, we have our door to the bathroom. So, ta-da! She's very big and spacious. This whole dorm room in general is very generous with the space. And so I really like that a lot. But here we have the mirror. She's slightly dirty, sorry. But this is one of the magnetic opening ones so that's pretty nice to have um, for some storage and then we also got this over the toilet shelf thing to have some more storage um, and it's very convenient to have so I recommend getting one of those and I also recommend getting one of these three door bins because they help with a lot of storage as you can see for both of us so this is a pretty big mirror if you can see so we don't have a full length mirror, but we depend on this for checking our outfits every day. But yeah, um, here's our shower. Looks like this. Also very big and spacious. So our shower head is actually switched. Um, we changed it once we moved in to the one with a chain. So yes, if you prefer these kind of shower heads as well, you are able to do that. Um, and then we also have these shelves from amazon really like them i will link them in the description box 
For other stuff in this bathroom, there are two hooks, one on this side and then one on this side. And we just have one towel holder. And if you're wondering, this is a pretty big sink space as well. And the actual sink is pretty big and open. So yeah, you won't have any problems with the water like falling out because I definitely had that issue in the double dorms at SUNY Korea. So you won't have to worry about that one. Coming out of the bathroom, we have a little trash can here, and then we have two hooks on this big open wall. We just keep some of our bags up there, and then we have our kitchen area. So this and this will basically be the kitchen area. So we do have a little dining table. It is pretty big, and there's two chairs provided. Um, we just keep some of our stuff on there. And then we also have an oven, which is pretty freaking nice. And then we also have a stovetop. So there are four burners. These are burners, but they get very dirty very quickly. So I recommend getting new um, like plates of these often. And then moving to the right, we have our sink and tabletop, which is not very big. As you can see, I wish it was as big as our bathroom sink. But this is kind of all the space you get along with your dining table. But it's also filled up by our little dish drying rack here, which I definitely recommend getting one because there's no other way to really dry your dishes. And I would recommend getting a size at least this big because um, it's nice to lay out kind of all your dishes and not have to like fiddle around with space and whatever. So I think I got this from Bed Bath & Beyond or Target, but you can find them anywhere. And this one didn't come with like a tray below to catch the water, so we just use a baking sheet. But yeah, definitely recommend getting this and I will measure it and put the measurements here just to let you know how big this one is so you can get a little idea of the space that it takes. And then we have our sink here and above we have a few cabinets, but it actually holds a lot. Um, we also have our microwave, which this you do have to buy yourself. It doesn't come with, so yeah, keep that in mind. Here's one of our cabinets, and then this one, lots of space. These ones about the fridge are kind of hard to reach, but if you have a tall roommate or a stool, you'll be fine. And this is just one continuous one, but I don't, I'm too lazy to open that. So yeah, there's a lot of space in there. And one thing about this dorm is that the ceilings are very high, so you can see that we have some stuff above the cabinets and the ceiling is still way up there, so. I really, really like that. It makes the room feel a lot bigger. We also have a little drawer here and this cabinet below the sink. Also very big and spacious. So yeah, now going to the fridge. Uh, this is really freaking handy. I definitely recommend getting this as well. Um, this is also from Amazon. I will link it in the description box, but we just have some of our condiments here and then a towel rack very freaking handy so yeah thanks to my sister-in-law who literally has this at her house and that's where i got it from but yeah here's the fridge very big and nice as well we also have this little whiteboard that iris's mom gave um we also have some food up there and yeah freezer fridge lots and lots and lots of space so don't have to worry. This did come with the room, so don't have to worry about buying a fridge. And then I'll just move over to my desk area and my part of the room. So first we have my favorite thing in the world. This three-tier rolling cart. I've mentioned it before in my vlog, but definitely recommend getting this. Super handy and it's just nice and easy to roll in and out. So yeah, this is from Bed Bath & Beyond and they do go for a little pricey, but I got it on sale, thankfully. But yeah, behind that I have a little mini ironing board with some of my schoolwork stuff. And here is the desk area, also pretty big and spacious. If you would like the measurement of this, I will also put it up right here. Also part of this desk are these two drawers here. This one's a lot deeper. And this chair, she's definitely not comfortable, so I got one of these little padded things from Bed Bath & Beyond. And I also have my trash can back here. One good thing about these desks is that it comes with a little outlet inside of it, basically. So you don't need an extension cord. Also, all of our furniture basically is moved around. So this desk used to be over here, and Iris's desk used to also be over here. And her bed was 
just pushed along this wall. So if you want to see like the original layout of it, then you can watch my very first vlog of moving to New York um, and you can see how our room formation has changed. Moving right along is my bed. She looks like that and as you can see i do have a stool to get up on here because it's pretty high up and these beds can loft but this is the highest it'll go i believe actually i haven't tried but there is another like lock in here so i guess you can go up one more but i'm perfectly fine with this height with the dorm comes these two drawer systems as well for under the bed or whatever you want to do with it they are very big as well Yep. And then on top of both of them, I have some shoes and some other stuff. And I also have this, this like bed desk thing. Very handy. And going in over here, we have our AC heater system. And then I store my suitcases right here just because they fit perfectly. Um, and it's a nice little like bedside table basically. So I have an extension cord to go back there because there's a little plug in between that. And I just keep a book and the remote for my sunset lamp. And I have all of my little knickknackies here. So cute. And then I have some pictures up on that wall. And yeah. Another great thing about this storm are the windows. And as I said before, the ceilings are really tall. So it definitely brightens up the place a lot. Let me show you what it looks like when they're both fully opened. This is what it looks like. And they, it's so bright in here now. They never both need to be opened ever. Like literally, Iris has hers down all the time, basically. And I opened mine until about like right there and it's more than enough sunlight. So yeah, but it is really freaking nice. Like I haven't had it open like this since I moved in. But yeah, really nice. Um, I will show you our view. It's not like the best thing in the world, but it is pretty darn freaking good. We get a view of the water, a little slither right there. Um, and you can definitely see the sunsets really nice. So I have a lot of sunset pictures. But yeah. This is our view. Okay, so now I'll move on to Iris' side, just skim through it. We have a lamp here, her desk area, and then her bed, and she also has the drawers underneath. And now we're on to our closets. So there are two closets, one for each of us, thank goodness. And they're big. This is 10,000 times better than the closet at the IGC SUNY Korea campus. So I'm more than happy to have this in the dorms. Um, there's a little shelf above where you can store things and a nice big rack. And I also have some stuff at the bottom here. Um, these two command hooks were already there when I moved in. So I'm just making use of that. And there's also this little hanger um, where I just put my belts and necktie and same thing with the other closet so yeah they're really nice to have then you're back to the dining table and and to the door again so that is the complete room tour I'll do a little overview real quick yeah but you do get a lot of floor space it's definitely very very wide and big a lot bigger than what some other universities have to offer so i'm very grateful for the space we have so yeah but i think that's the end of this video if you would like to see anything else then i'll probably include it in one of my vlogs not create like a separate kind of video for it but i will put it in the description of this video if i do happen to do so like later on in the future so just let me know leave comments and questions below and i will get to them as soon as possible but yeah thanks for watching my video and i hope this really helped a lot because i know i was super curious when i was moving in so yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you in next week's vlog bye